Hi guys, this is lecture 3 on water jet machining in non-traditional machining process. Let me see the concept of water jet machining material removal process in which the high pressure, high velocity water is forced against the object and material is removed. The pressure around thousand. Uh, 152,000 megapascal and velocity is 542,400 meter per second. Let we see the construction of uh, water jet machining. First one is power supply. The power is supplied by hydraulic fluid that is water here. The water is uh, required to supply uh, half liter to 2.5 liter per minute. Pump. Uh, this one is the pump. This pump is used produced to the flow in the circuit. That is the use of this pump. It will not increase the pressure. It makes the flow inside the circuit. Next one is intensifier. Intensifier is nothing but it produces the high hydraulic power at low pressure. Accumulator. Accumulator is a pressure storaging device. It stores the pressures and uh, supplies when the energy is uh, needed in the circuit uh, more than the supply. There are some other uh, extracting device. Hydraulic unit. In this hydraulic unit, we can control and monitor the pressure in the circuit. And control valve. This control valve will regulate the pressure which is moving to the nozzle. This one is the water nozzle through which the water is going to come out and striking the object. This one is the workpiece. Finally, the water is moving for the recycle. It is again used for cutting the object. But we see the process parameter and machining characteristic uh, water additives. Wa water is the most common uh, fluid for using this uh, water jet machining cutting process in which the water should be improved its properties uh, so in for increasing these properties we are adding the sum of additional liquids here that is algogols, oil product, glycerol are added to increase the properties of the water and work material will be paper, cloth, wood, leather, rubber and plastics if the material may be a brittle if uh, metal be a, may be a brittle the fracture will will be brittle on nature so we can't accurately uh, cut by using this water jet machining suppose the metal is ductile material we can cut accurately by using this water jet machining applications of water jet machining it is used for cutting the composites plastics fabrics rubber wood products also used in food processing industry let me know the advantage of uh, water jet machining. This water jet machining uh, machines and, uh, will not produce the any heat on the surfaces. Also, it can start from anywhere without any references and it will not produce the buzz b while machining the object. Also, environmentally uh, a friendly machining process, this one. Did we see the difference between water jet machining and abrasive water jet machining. In water jet machining, we cannot uh, cut uh, high harness material for uh, and also the material removal rate will be very low in water jet machining. For increasing this uh, material removal rate, we have to move for the abrasive water jet machining. That is, uh, we are going to add the abrasive particles with the water. That is the abrasive water jet machining. The concept is remaining same as water jet machining. You can see the difference between uh, uh, water jet machining and the abrasive water jet ma machining from this picture very clearly. In water jet machining, the water only is going to strike on the object. In abrasive water jet machining, water with uh, abrasive particles mixing jet is going to strike on the object so material removal rate will increase in abrasive water jet machining that we know about abrasive water jet machining this abrasive water jet machining is developed in 1960s uh, to cut the uh, object with which one with 
cannot withstand the high temperature for stress distortion or metallurgical reasons such as uh, wood uh, composites and traditional difficult to cut materials i have given the example here ceramics glass stones titanium and titanium alloys these are uh, best material we can cut by using this abrasive jet machining generally in the water jet machining a uh, material more red will uh, quite low so increase that we have to add the abrasive particles with the water that is abrasive water jet machining we can create the narrow focused path to cut the object and there is no need of high pr high force to cut the object because uh, we are adding the abrasive particles it also will give the sum of force on the object for machining so there is no need of additional force required to cut the object we can cut the met uh, sheet metals or uh, uh, components up to 80 mm thickness the velocity of the stream is up to 90 meter per seconds it is 2.5 times the speed of the sound thank you